my name is Zach Ryan with Old Man Gaming. Welcome back to Wasteland 330. So excited. This is a big episode for us, but before that, gotta bring the man down, the Bill Master General himself. Yo, what's up, Old Man Fan? Phil Billy 330 here, back again, once again, into Wasteland 3. And as Zach said, an exciting episode is we are going to make our first two community members into our party and due to the comments on the last episode the first two we are going to make out of basically by default of who uh commented or it will be jason and kev too tall and both have well jason really outlined his character and kev uh eh, some more or less did yeah i uh, we also decided because we talked about this a lot, um, and uh, we basically uh, we basically decided to make things a little bit harder for us and to make it more fun for the people involved. Every like, and I don't know how we're gonna judge how many missions we go back back and forth on, but uh, every so often, every so many missions, we're gonna jump back to the HQ and make two new community members and switch them out, and we're never gonna have like, we're never gonna keep them keep them like we're gonna constantly mix and match so that might make it kind of difficult for us if we don't think ahead of time you know maybe we can do it on like story beats like uh yeah i i actually wanted to kind of leave that part up to you because while i did play this game quite a bit i played so much of it why am i not ready again i'm ready i'm ready game i'm ready i'm really ready i promise it's made me say i'm ready like six times uh, while we did like, uh, while we did, uh, uh, while I did play quite a bit of it, I'm not quite sure where a good break would be each time. So, uh, good job, Rangers. Nice. I want to kind of leave that to you, if that's all right. And now that it's yeah, that's cool. To talk, let me reintroduce you to the great Sergei Gretzky, who's going to be helping you with personnel. All right, I'll let you talk this one out. Okay. Talk to Sergey, and then we can go into building you guys. I love that I'm talking this one out. I'm in the other room. <laughs> like, I just see in my head, he's like yelling it. Who's going to be helping with personnel? I don't know! <laughs> uh, Hi again, Rangers. Damn sorry about your people. But now that you're here, we'll do what we can to get you back on your feet and find you some new recruits. Just like the Patriarch promised you. Aww. And I already got you one of the best. Meet Marcelo Gonzalez. This electronics guy. Electronics wizard, radio technician, and former dispatcher for the Marshals. He'll be your radio operator. Howdy, Rangers. Uh, while you were dealing with the alarms, I took the liberty of installing a combat AI in your vehicle. Yay. Should help you out. If you want to chat, I'll be in the operations room getting things up and running. I like how he installed a combat AI in our vehicle in the, like, five minutes it took us to talk down the AIs. Should be more recruits. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that they could have done by themselves. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Uh, I, don't, I don't have any questions for this guy. Do you? No, nah, not really. Uh, so we got a few credits. Show what you got lined up. Show us who you've got lined up. Let's talk about the next steps. Absolutely. We can talk about recruitment anytime. And if you meet talented people in your travels, don't hesitate to sign them up. Now, you're the boss here, so I'm yeah. not going to tell you what to do. But getting this place up and running wouldn't be a bad place to start. That means surveying the base and finding special. Maybe we should try fixing that wall over there. <laughs> Oh, due time. <laughs> well, the snow's getting in here, so I don't think it's going to stop the bad guys very well. Uh, surveying the base sounds good. We should uh, get this place set up. Uh, did you click on that? Uh, yeah, it doesn't do okay. anything. No, other it's than cool. shows you my, what Your, I would pick. What you would thing. pick. That's cool. I didn't know you could do that, or I would have been clicking on things before. I didn't really know until just now. <laughs> That's kind of cool. I didn't even know that, that was possible. A to see yeah, I just learned something too. This game is really interesting in its go-up. I wish more 
I haven't played a lot of the co-op, that's why I, I, I'm sure I'll After learn that, stuff as we go. I played a little bit with you and then a little with Phil. Right, right. Maybe she'll hook you up with I, just, I think it's a cool stories. idea for co-op, honestly. I, I wish more games like this would, anyway, would find ways to do co-op, you know? Yeah, it's like clearly a single-player game, but mm -hmm. they give you an option at least. Yeah, you know, and it's the same with that with Monster Hunter Stories has a lot of co-op in it too, which is kind of interesting. Oh. I love when they when they take games that aren't normally co-op and make them co-op. Okay, thanks for the info. I want to recruit people now. You go away now. Uh, one sec. God damn, more talking. I think Quan's gonna join us. Now. Yeah, saying, sir, I'm pretty but sure. I'm guessing you folks are gonna need as much help in the field as you will here in HQ. So, what if I joined your squad? At least until you find your feet. Sure, Marshal Quan. Thanks. We could use the help. Great. I'm at your disposal. Sweet. Fix that wall. <laughs> Lead the way. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> All right, so now we make people, right? Do we do it yep. the computer? We don't want the computer? Oh, no, God, back like damn a cancer. No. What can it's, I help? You just go to him and say we need to active manage our active oh, ring. Oh, okay. My advice is to put together a squad with complementary skills. Nobody can be great at everything, so pick recruits who are good at things your current team isn't. And you can always round out your squad with folks you meet along the way. Keep that in mind when you're choosing from the recruits I've rounded up. Yeah, sure. Got it. Rangers, good to see you. Watch that shit. I'm assuming you're doing it first right now. Uh. Wait, what the fuck? Yeah, it's weird, because you clicked on it, didn't you? Yeah. Sure thing. Let's have a look. Oh, there we go. You just had to press it again, I guess. Launching squad customization. There it is. There it should be. Okay. Also, so Juan got put with me. I can take him. Because I was in charge of the conversation. Oh, it doesn't matter to me. Uh, I'll put I'm gonna you. Add, it doesn't go. matter. I gave uh, him. Uh, I'm going to add a new recruit. Yeah, you guys are I'm unfortunately going to only be able to see my side of things. Yeah, so I'll build Kev. Yeah. I'll kind of say what I'm going with. Yeah. But Kevin's going to be a big dude heavy gunner. I think he would appreciate that. Are you sure you want and to he, hire this he's, recruit? He's got to have the Sasquatch. Uh... Oh, wait. Dedication. Name. I... And making the professor adjacent. Uh, he is a male. Uh, what, what, what do we want to do? We're in it now. Shoot! They saw you started it. We'll. You... Oh, man. This is not the best way to begin an engagement. <laughs> I I gotta go educated because it's the professor. I think Jason's gonna get mad at me. For no, no, no! You gotta go. Uh, what? What? What do I gotta go? Bookworm. Well, that's background. I'm talking about the voice. This is not the best oh, way to begin an engagement. Yeah, I gotta go bookworm for him. Definitely. Professor! Oh, I gotta bring up his uh, his comment to figure out exactly what he wanted in it. All right, let's go. Your chair. Oh, that's wrong. Oh, we're up to 278. Hey, awesome. Gotta love that. Okay. We're in it now. You started it. We'll All right. Finish it. Let's Come see. In Wasteland 3, I'd be us. first aid, New melee, blunt in. focus, hard it. ass, Shit's barter, leadership in descending order of importance. Okay. All right. I think Kev is going to be Explodomaniac. Explodomaniac. I don't know 
what you look like, Jason. I just want you to know that. I am basing everything off the little avatar picture you have with your gamer profile. <laughs> Which is why I chose Kev, because I didn't <laughs> want the uh, uh, duty of... Or, of uh, I don't know how to say this. The responsibility. Yes, the responsibility mm. of screwing up your image. <laughs> I figured yeah. I'd let Zach take that. Because none of us know what you look like in real life, but at least I know what Kev looks like. <laughs> uh, blunt weapon back. Alright, so... Uh, appearance. How did I miss appearance? Nice. Yeah, that face is fine. I'm not gonna make any judgment. I'm using default face so he can't get mad at me. I don't know what his hair looks like, so we're just gonna go with this. I'm not gonna give him... Oh no, I think he did have a beard in his picture. I'm gonna go all out. Since I don't know what you look like, Jason, I'm gonna go kind of crazy. I'm gonna give you some ridiculous facial hair here, just for the fun of it. Evan has a little bit of facial hair, right? Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think so. He doesn't have long hair on his head, does he? Uh, no, I don't think so. It's curly, though, if I recall correctly. <laughs> I, I, this show's gonna get canceled so fast because everybody's just gonna be mad at us that we're making <laughs> pictures wrong. Because <laughs> our memories suck. Oh, I guess I could just give him a mask. That would make things a lot easier on me. <laughs> yeah, that's good. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> Gas mask, eye patch combo. <laughs> what? Hey, that's a good idea. Yeah. You can't be wrong. Yeah, no. Gas mask, eye patch combo. He even looks like a psychotic professor. All right, now we gotta go with uh, some sort of outfit for him. I don't wanna take too much time on this. I'm going to Facebook to check out Kev Tutor real quick. That one, I like that. Okay, one. that's what I thought as far as facial hair. Color. Well, he's got a blue star on his YouTube thing, so I'm going to go blue for his colors. <laughs> physique, we're just going to leave it normal for physique. Back, so that's done. Attributes. So Kev, I'm sorry for the hair being so big. That's just how it, it. That that's the closest thing they got. Gotta go high intelligence for the professor, without a doubt. High oh man, you're killing go him. High coordination. What? You're killing him already. How am I killing him? We gotta make the characters the way they are, so it's it's not just like super easy for us. You're making a melee character who's intelligent and coordinated he he wanted a blunt weapon a melee he's gonna die weapon. immediately <laughs> that wasn't me it was him he chose it i'll give him some strength though we can go three strength on this because strength is is health right and melee damage right uh strength is brawling damage i don't remember if it's melee Ooh. damage okay hold on I guess the baddest. No. Heavy weapons and armor. But it's shrug off harm. It lets you hit harder, throw farther. Okay. Speed physique is sure, sure. I don't see anything else that would be melee anything other than, you know, your obvious coordination. Which I gave him some of that too. So, okay, so he's got four coordination, four strength, four intelligence. I need to boost one of those at least a point. Which do you think I should do? Strength, coordination, or intelligence? Uh, Coordination. You want him to be able to hit a lot okay. and be able to run away. Or speed. Well, speed's not that. But yeah, coordination's really important. Alright, All right, so we got two points left. So he's got five. We'll, we'll just we'll even it out. Even it out. So he's got five coordination, five strength, five intelligence. Those are his big big points. 
He's an insane character. An absolutely insane character. Uh, melee combat. We gotta drop that up. And then we need, um, first aid. Uh, do we want to max that? What else did he have on here? He had... I'll be first aid, melee, blunt focused, hard ass, barter, leadership, and descending order. But I don't think hard ass is going to work for him because that's off your charisma, isn't it? Uh. No, hard ass is just a skill. Okay. Alright. So we'll do. We got melee combat to a 5. We'll up his first aid to a 4. And then we'll give him a couple of points in hard ass. Three points left. I can up one thing. I'm gonna up his melee combat just so that he doesn't get destroyed. All right, he's not too bad. He's crazy. He's absolutely crazy, but he's not too bad. And then Quirk. I'm giving Kev decent coordination, uh, decent intelligence, high awareness. Okay. I mean, it's not going to be fun if we don't have a little overlap, so I'm okay with anything that you do, as long as you think it's Kev. Kev worthy. I don't uh, think Kev is necessarily lucky. <laughs> I don't know that he would say he's lucky. I think I can either go with Medical Marvel or Serial Killer for Jason. <laughs> I don't think I want to get Serial Killer because it starts with a lower action score, and I think I want him to have a higher action score, so I think we're going to do... Like, Medical Marvel means he can't be revived during combat, but he gets a plus five constitution. But to be honest, we're playing it that if they die, they're dead. Well, that's true, so let's just do Medical Marvel. That's the other thing that could cause us to make characters quicker, too. Mm -hmm. We don't know. Some, someone could die. Well, and we could die, too. I, I want to point Correct. that out. Like, oh, yeah. Absolutely. We almost died in introductory shit. <laughs> well, it's not... I mean, nothing in this game is I think, super easy, really. Do you want to put the caveat that if, we, if they're revived before the end of combat, they're okay? Or... It's fair, because with a medic, it doesn't make sense to have one if you can't revive them during combat. Right, right. All right, I'm ready to go. I don't, I don't know, know why it's... Just... It says we actually get another character, but uh, we're going to have to collect another normal character, right? Like another pre-made character at some point, right? Yeah, you can only have four with you. What do you think Kev's quirk would be? Oh, uh, I don't know, man. That's tough. Think he's a serial killer? I don't think Kevin is a serial killer. Maybe Kevin in the apocalypse is a serial killer. One thing I do think is... uh I think Kev would be our toaster repair guy. Okay, that works. Is it because he's right. good with computers? Yeah. Or, yeah. or do you think he'd be nerd stuff? Uh, okay, I think I think between him and Neil, one of them should get toaster repair and one of them should get nerd stuff. <laughs> and whichever one's good with me. But I think those I think, two guys. I think I'm going to go toaster repair with Kev. Okay, all right. Uh, I am sure that nobody's going to be happy with anything we do with their character. <laughs> see, this is the moment I wish I could see what you were doing. 
Just because everybody's just looking at a screen right now. Sorry, I'm almost That's not, done. No, it's not your fault. It's just the way, the way we did it. Oh, you should have made him a blunder. Yeah, I just don't think he's a blunderer, though. Like, from everything I know about Jason, he doesn't seem like a blunderer. <laughs> I don't know. It's a great quirk for a melee character, but I wanted to try and make the guy, you know. I can't wait till we all die. I think I think Kev is a Poindexter. Okay. All right. That works. I feel like he's fairly intelligent, don't you? Yeah, definitely. And that's not a bad thing either. You get a plus one bonus skill point every two level ups. Yeah, no, I thought about that one for Jason. But I wanted to give him some sort of, like, extra melee advantage, you know? Just to, just to kind of give him some more survivability. Yeah. He's still going to be pretty good. Like, he's got a pretty decent constitution and a high melee combat, so. I think he'll do alright. At least in the beginning. It will be a hard decision as to whether to, like, send him in or hold him back to heal us, you know. Okay, Kev Too Tall is born. Yeah! Alright, hit that ready button. There you Woo! go. Anything else? Nothing. Nope. Let's go explore our base. Yeah. Where's my. Where's Jason? Oh, that's right. I gotta select them all. How do you select them all again? What's the button for that? Uh, is it tab, I believe? No, tab switches. Shift. No, not shift. Well, you can drag your thing and highlight them all. Or, there's another way. There's another way, and they were just, they were separate automatically for some reason. I can't remember which key. It's a key that you hold at the same time. Control? Oh. No. You know, we've got levels to level up. I don't know if we did that last time or not. <laughs> it's alright. We can figure it off off video. Because we're at 23 minutes and I'd like to do one other thing before we end the episode. So I'll, I've got them dragged right now, so I'm good. For the time being. Alright. Oh shit, hold on. Let me equip Kev with a rocket launcher. Because I think we got one. As a secondary, you know. Oh yeah. I don't think we got anything better for heavy weapons. How do you get to the equipment again? Man, I do not remember any of the buttons. And we I is always them. equipment. I. Okay. Oh, we did get the nightstick. That might be better. Let's see what Jason's got here. 19 to 23. Nightstick is 24 to 28. <coughs> That's much better. Take a big old nightstick. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Then he needs to, uh, hey, give, give him the veteran ranger star. Because it adds one to his hard ass. Okay. That's good. Because isn't he our hard ass? Yeah, he's got two in hard ass. Uh, okay. And then... 
You need first aid, like first aid for the first aid packs, right? Yeah, there we go. So he's got those in his quick slot. A quick slot's stupid in this game. You ever notice that? Why? Because it doesn't matter. You can go to your inventory at any time during the fight. It doesn't matter. Oh. I, I never even put shit in my quick slot. I don't know. When I remember playing before, I didn't remember that I could do that. But I just might not have figured it out, you know? Yeah, you just hit I. Yeah. Perk point? How does Jason already have a perk point? You must have forgot to assign one. Yeah, I must have. Uh, but he can't actually take anything. Everything's locked. It's weird. Perk point. Locked, 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 locked. <laughs> Wait, he has a perk? Yeah, perk points remaining. One. I'm on him right now. Perk points remaining one, but there is no perk slots to be unlocked because he hasn't gotten any levels. Hmm. It's very weird. Because these are already... Oh, no, no, never mind. He can get something. I, I misread stuff. Let's do that one. Alright, so... Alright. Alright, so we ready? Yeah, we got this rusted slicer dicer in here. I have mechanics, but uh, you, we might want to set our group up in, for combat. Okay. <laughs> oh, I just put this giant helmet on Jason's head. <laughs> you can unshow it. Oh yeah? How do I do that? On your inventory, how this there's check marks next to your armor if you just oh, uncheck cool. them. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alright. I'm gonna get these pools behind cover. I will be behind cover here. And I'm gonna crouch him. And then since I have mechanics, uh, I will go deal with, uh, Good luck! Judging by the scrape marks on the floor, it looked like it was dragged into the garage for somewhere else. Hold on a second. Try to repair the slicer dicer. I love how the oil looks like it shit itself. <laughs> <laughs> Peering inside the quivering robot, you find a lot of salvage parts and new wiring. Someone's been working on the robot for a while. There's a bad connection to the power supply strong enough to give someone a wicked shock. It takes some careful work to repair the connections. Yeah. As soon as the shot... Sh Short is repaired, the robot sputters to life. It turns a cold, unfeeling optical sensor towards you, and its weapons spin up. Son of a bee sting! And I am not in cover, shit. Dude, I love Kevin. He's just standing there with this giant gun. <laughs> I gotta get to cover. Marshall Kwan gets his shots. He's pretty good though. Yeah, he's pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna have him
I'm gonna have him ambush. Okay. And then Kev too tall. Big gun! Oh, God oh, damn! Damn! Oh man, MVP of the battle just got spotted. Holy lord. And I have him prepare. Alright, my turn. My turn to shoot it. Yeah. Alright, we are going to shoot it with the gun. I think and I don't want to send Jason in against this thing <laughs> I mean do we think what do you mean? Good? like as a melee character I, I kind of want to save him as a healer and use him as actual people but I don't think he can actually get to him let's go you didn't give him that much uh I gave oh, him. Christ. I didn't he give him made... any speed, man. I gave him coordination, strength, and intelligence. Oh no! That's what I. This was. It was I... nice knowing you, Jason. <laughs> uh, I think he's gonna. I think he's gonna go right here. And then <laughs> just <ambush. took> a... <laughs> uh... He got close enough to attack him next round. Ambush! Nice. Did some damage. Holy shit! Holy shit! Holy shit! He's dead. I'm sorry I didn't build you, Jason. You can't. You gotta build him the right way. Oh, okay. <laughs> we gotta roleplay build him. We can't just build him to win, or it's no fun. Okay. I gave him what he asked for. I'm gonna take a charge shot on his. His CPU. That'll do it. So are we counting Jason as dead already? <laughs> I feel like we should give him one more chance. That was pretty rough. Lock picker, you're gonna have to open yeah, that. I got this. Corpse of a young woman lies on her feet, as her body contorted in an unnatural angle. Judging by the smell, she's been here a while. Ooh, who has first aid? Uh, Jason. <laughs> Let Jason talk to the corpse. Okay. All right. All right. We're giving a mulligan on Jason then. Uh, sure. A one-time mulligan. <laughs> He's gonna die again next round. I mean, I gave him what he wanted. What do you want me to do? You didn't give him any speed. Like, a melee guy has to get in, attack, and get out. I... <sighs> okay. Uh, I should probably reload, or did I automatically? Alright, so she got electrocuted. I don't need to examine the corpse as well, do I? No, not in particular. Alright. Did you use his first aid or whatever? Yeah, I did. I did. Okay. Alright, we have to end the first episode because we're at 34 minutes. Here, lockpick this locker real quick. Okay. Oh, press the wrong button. Alright.
Alright. Is this... Okay. Alright. Let's wrap the episode. Alright, everybody. That was... I think we're on episode four right now. So... Yep. Yeah. That's it. Uh, we shall see you guys next week with another episode as we continue into Wasteland 330. You can talk to us on Facebook at OldManGamingDH, on Twitter at OldManGaming9. You can join our Discord. Link's in the description below. You can influence this and all of our shows from there. And as long as you guys keep watching and listening, we'll keep making them. We'll see you guys next week. Later, old man fam.